Alright guys, so today we're gonna be reacting to America, what they don't show you. I know, I know what this video is about. I've seen dozens of videos like this. These cities in the United States, they suck. Suck, suck. Philadelphia, Kensington, zombie land. If you, if you're low budget, you want to do a zombie movie, just record here. That's it. I, I'm being truthful. This, these places are driven by policies that have been toxic to the city, but we don't want to talk about it. We're just going to jump in. I'm going to pray for these people tonight, man. Oh, all city. Look at this, man. Disgusting. Change. Kids with bright future used to have a bright future. This is why I'm against legalizing the drugs. Look at that. Look at that. You can tell, you know what's crazy? You can tell who has been on it for a lot of years and who are new the, to the vicious addiction. Look at this dude, man. Look at these, man. Yeah. It's probably new, man. And this is not only Philadelphia, people. This is coming to all cities in the United States. All cities in the United States. Twin City, Portland, Seattle. These people, these places are already destroyed. It's coming to Milwaukee, New York City, the same. Chicago's going, is worse. Dallas, Houston. All driven by the same policy. Same policies. Mm. Look at that. You see that you, you start thinking like man, these people used to be kids, baby, innocence. And they end up there, man. Oh. Right future, you can tell these people they probably have bachelor's and master's degrees in their in their back pocket. And how do I know? Because I used to live in New York City. I live used to live for people like this. They have master's degrees and bachelor's degree, even doctor degrees. And they end up like this. And it's not because there's no jobs. It's the lifestyle that these people brought to it. And some of these people, they go to major cities just to, just to have that. Hey, shout out to the Puerto Rican flag. That's heroin, though. That's heroin. For some of these folks, it's too late, man. Beautiful city just destroyed by drugs.
salesman. Like that one day while selling the drugs. No freedom in addictions, folks. I'm telling you. No freedom when it comes to addictions and drugs. I don't believe in that shit. How it how can you tell me this is freedom, man? This is not freedom, this is addiction. Look at these people. They're tied, they're slaves to the drugs, man. This is not Americanism. This is some weird people, degenerate behavior that something happened in their life and they hang out with the wrong per people. And they never follow some advice. Something happens to them. It can, it could be a multiple reason, folks. I don't want to judge them. I don't want to judge them. Because you have to go back to the fact that these people used to be little babies. Little kids. Playing in the neighborhood. And some the majority of these people, for those folks that are in, um, outside the United States, they're not from Philly. These people are not from Philly. These people came from the outside of Philly to end up in this area of Philly. That's how it goes, man. That's why I don't live in the cities anymore. I don't live in the city anymore because of the same reason. No Chinese restaurant open. That's how you know how bad it is. When the Chinese restaurants close, that's how, that's how you know it's bad. Because they are hustling. They don't care. But when they close, that's how you know it's very bad. Oh my God. Look at these old buildings. These are hundreds, hundreds of years old. Hundreds of years old. These hundreds. History lost. Look at that. Oh my God. The devil had entered. I cannot be quiet, man. This is crazy. I don't know. Uh... The guns, gang signs. This is how they express. This is how they spread the territory. They mark their gang. This is graffiti is a problem, folks. This is why graffiti is a problem. These are gang signs. See, this is how they mark their territory. See, this is how they mark their territory. That's why graffiti is not a good idea. These things are bad. I know some people want to just put graffiti in an artistic way. I understand we can just be, we can come to a common ground. But when it comes down to this, so those people that know a little bit of the street life, this is a bad sign. This bad, 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 bad. That means gangs are taking over. He's new. He's a new addict. New addict. He see how he's walking. Look at that. He's still clean. He's some. Good clothes, he's a new addict. Oh my god. This is not freedom, man. Oh. Look at that. This one, this one kills me.
guy. How many times have we seen this guy? This guy right here, man. Poor guy, man. Police don't, police don't want to do anything because the problem is, for those people who don't understand the politics in the United States, the reason police don't do anything is because the, the legislative and the executive branch of the city, right, is allowing this. If a police would just arrest these people, the police would just end up in jail. That's why you see this in the major cities. The, poli the, uh, the the liberal policies, liberal policies in the United States is garbage. Yes, I said it. It's garbage. It's everywhere. Everywhere in the United States, when you in the United States when you go to a city, it's all ran by liberal policies. And this is what we get. This is what we get. Everywhere, man. Seattle, Seattle, and Portland, they're they're worse than this. All ran by by communists, and the police they cannot do anything. Twin City the same, Milwaukee is becoming the same. I called the police because they were um in my garage, in my ex, my former garage, in my former building that we were living on. People were getting st steal, and there was thief, and you will call the police. They will tell you, hey, there's nothing else we can do. We don't have the funds. Because the mayor will allow it. This was during the 2020 elections, of course. They're funding the police, all that stuff. And this is this just basically just made it worse. And then, of course, the stimulus checks on top of that. A lot of these people, they inflated that market with drugs. But everywhere, man, New York City was bad. But this is bad. Hey, this is coming to any city. San Francisco, L.A., all liberal policies, everything. All everything's garbage. I don't even know how that thing's open. Look at that man. What, what do you do here, man? Because there's drugs, they cannot help themselves. They're not ready to help. They get help. They get help. They don't want to. They don't want help. Man. So sad. Look at party. A public restroom closed. Like I say, again, we see the gang signs. Everywhere. Okay. I'm not even surprised because I'm not even surprised that three doesn't have gang signs. Very surprised. Right here. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Kills me, man. Puerto Rico, we had the same problem again. San Juan City, same problem, man. All liberal policies. Okay, ah, wow. Look at that, see. This is how you know, man. Like, this is how you know. <sighs> Look at this. Oh my god. Luggages and everything. Look at that. Hmm. This dude with a phone. Is it? Probably a new addict. Like, don't come around here kind of thing. See the gang signs again? Oh my god. It, oh, don't tell me, bro. 
Look at her. She's getting ready to get that. To get injected. Oh my god. There's no program in the world that works. You look at that park. Beautiful park. It's not even clean. I wouldn't be surprised that's like a hundred years old. What a chain. What a chain. Feels like, um, embarrassed, man, man, that's an American. He's so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed, man. How do we allow this as a nation? It's beyond me. I'm telling you, beyond me. Look at her, she's changed. Look at that. These are new. See? New addicts. New. You can tell she used to be a red, lovely lady, man. No. Oh my god. It would be weird even to see a same person here. It's one of those things. My God. Future presidents, man. Politician, scientists, good lawyers, all lost. Probably the next. The guy that was supposed to cure some of these great diseases is there. I'm always thinking like that. Like I want to. I'm always because I'm always thinking about hope, and the hope of these great individuals to have that talent, right, and that possibility that they could change the world. Well, Satan took over, man. Satan took over. How can you be a major on a city like this and be okay with it, man? I just don't get it. Oh my God, she's injecting herself. You saw that? I don't know. I'm not even gonna replay that. She was injecting herself. Oh man. Well, let me know what you guys think out in the comment section below. Let me know what you think it could work to fix these kind of problems let me know i think in some in some places seattle and portland and even in this place last time you checked you they give the needles hospital give needles to these people they have free health care i mean they have free everything and i think that's why they enable but let me know what you guys think about this and how we can fix this how can we fix it I will see you in the next one.